Hi guys, it's Becca and welcome back to the Carriage House or welcome if you are new here. It's good to be back. I know I've taken about two to three weeks off to focus on our homeschool room and I've been getting that all prepared and organized and doing lesson planning and just trying to get ahead so that way we have a good start to the to the, to the year. But today is all about a fall haul, an early fall haul. Um, now normally, especially lately, I, I normally don't go out much really. I don't really go out and shop and and all that just because of, of what's going on. Um, I try to stay, we try to stay home as much as we can, but I did, we needed, we did need to, to stock up on groceries. We usually do that about every two or three weeks. And then I did decide to, I woke up really early in the morning, put on my mask and went to Hobby Lobby and I went to Target as well and, and just got some, some things. And it really helped refresh my mind a little bit. But I hope you all are doing well and I missed, really missed you guys. And if you're new, then I'm, I'm really glad you're here. Lots of fun videos uh, coming up, lots of fall decorating videos. And um, we've got some like day in the life, morning type of late summer routines and home tours and all kinds of stuff. So it'll be fun. Also a quick update on the channel now. Previously I would post on Friday night. So now I'm gonna go back to posting weekly, but I'm not really sure which day it might be just because of, you know, we're starting school and, and things like that. So you can click the, or turn on your notification bell and it will let you know when I upload a video. So I'm gonna try to aim for Mondays or early in the week, but you know how things go. You, you have to, you know, you have a lot of kids and they pretty much dictate uh, what your day is gonna be like, so. Okay, so last year I did a black and white theme. I did jump on the bandwagon and did that. So I do have all that decor downstairs that I'll be taking and I'll be using that too because I don't want to be, you know, wasteful and just buy a bunch of stuff. I do, I did buy more colored, uh, autumn colors, colored decor this year just to kind of add, you know, add to that the black and white decor. So it's not going to be a complete black and white theme this year. It's just going to be the black and white with other like pops of color. But I saw this, these are napkins, um, but I got, actually got a bunch of stuff with this. It reminds me of a flannel shirt and it has the orange on there, but these are napkins, but I also got an apron and <laughs> a tablecloth in the same pattern. So I plan to use this in the dining room and then the apron, we'll see, I love, I love, it's more like I like collecting aprons. I don't wear them quite as much. I like the idea of wearing them. Sometimes I will while cooking and baking because I love the whole Tom Warp vintage wife type of thing. But the only thing is, is that I, for some reason, I don't like wearing stuff around my neck. It just bothers, <laughs> bothers me. That's why I don't wear a lot of jewelry. But so I may end up just kind of tucking it in and wearing it around my waist. And I even thought about getting the pink and shears and cutting it and maybe using that for something else, but I don't know, it's kind of too cute to, to cut and mess up. It says, uh, it's fall, y'all, so I don't know. We'll see, I may just leave it. <laughs> you guys let me know what you think. We have a lot of young children running around and it would just be a disaster if I use these to, you know, to use them as napkins, but I do use them to decorate things like bowls, um, maybe like little mason jars or just as a little, you know, accent on on a, on a table or something like that. So I hope to, to do that around the house. I don't know yet exactly what I'm gonna do, but this will tie in, you know, with, with, with everything, hopefully. So I love that, I love that. And they got other, they have other patterns too that kind of mimic the flannel, the flannel look. But that's something new I noticed there this year that I didn't notice last year. So, okay, so that, and then I got to these, and I love them, they're, I don't know, they're, they're kind of modern looking, but they've got that real pretty, um, I don't know, I just like them, they're kind of, they're cute, and I love the color, that, that color's so pretty, but I plan to use it, put in a vase, um, maybe in the, the dining, or the uh, living room, maybe, we'll see, we'll see. I am doing a early fall decorating this year, so, and each year I try to tell myself not to buy any more pumpkins, <laughs> but these are so cute. I tend to, you know, you just accumulate things over the years, and little pumpkins are things that I tend to, to 
accumulate. But these were really cute, and these, um, they were $6, and it's 40% off of that. And that's not too bad, and these are pretty good quality. Some things that Hobby, sometimes Hobby Lobby can have certain things, like their wood type items can be kind of cheap feeling, but I've noticed a lot of their stuff is starting to get, is starting to be made a little bit with better quality maybe, I don't know. But okay, so there's those, and then we have these, they're called, they say they're ornaments, it says they're ornaments, but I don't know, I'll probably won't, I'm not gonna, I don't have a fall tree or anything this year, which is it, actually a good idea, I've seen people, um, see people doing a fall tree, an autumn tree, and it turns out really well, so that's actually not a bad idea, let me know if you, if you do that, because that's actually a pretty good idea. But I may do something else different with these, but they have, um, they're burlap, and they have, this one has harvest, and then pumpkins, and then fall, um, but these are cheap, I mean, $4, 40% off, so. Lately, I have been on the lookout for a, um, like a jar like this, or a tin like this, to keep our, like, wooden spoons and things like that to keep on the counter. So, I went ahead and, and, and picked this up because I thought, you know, it, it would you know, probably work in our kitchen, which has been, it's newly, been newly renovated. We did a home tour not too long ago. So, I'm hoping that'll work, work in there. I haven't tried it out yet. So, it's not fall related, but it was on my mind and I thought, well, you know, I, I knew I was on the lookout for, for that. So, we'll see how that works. And then, just I think one more, oh, a couple more things. This napkin holder I got that says thankful on there. It's kind of simple. And then I kind of splurged on this one. This is the last thing I got from Hobby Lobby. And if you're interested, I'll show you some some things that I got at Target. Just basic, just like some clothes, some basic clothes, a couple of dresses and, and things. I'll show you that if you're interested. But I did splurge a little bit on this blanket. It's um, it is a Ray Dunn, which I, you know, I like Ray Dunn. I'm not a big, like, like huge fan. I mean, I like her stuff, but I know like people get really obsessed so, uh, with it. But she's definitely, you know, definitely got good style, um, and I like all the, you know, some of the writing and everything. But it's a Sherpa throw, so it's gonna be so cozy, especially in the fall. So, and I like the whole, I'm liking the whole flannel pattern. And this is the black and white that kind of tie in with the with the other, my other black and white stuff. So, okay. All right. Oh, 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 actually, there's a couple. Oh, oh, wait, I forgot these. So, okay, okay. So, so I had a lamp in the kitchen that I like. I like the base of it. It matches the curtains in our kitchen. But I've kind of grown tired of the lampshade. But, you know, they, lampshades can get expensive. And trying to find, you know, trying to find one that would fit on that particular base would be... You know, probably kind of difficult right now. Um, so I don't know if this is going to work, but I plan to use because this is the kind of kind of the same color, sort of as this, just that fall deep fall uh, uh, burnt yellowish type of color. But I plan to kind of maybe wrap it around the shade and maybe use like a Velcro sticky back maybe on there because I don't want to use the hot glue gun necessarily because it might ruin the shade that's on there right now. So that's my intent, but we'll see. Sometimes you, you have, you plan, you know, have, you have some plan of, oh, it's, it's going to look great and it ends up not turning out well. So on the decorating video, we'll see. You guys can let me know if, you know, if it works out. And then I did get some more, um, I think this is burlap too, but it's, tightly woven as opposed to the this burlap that's uh, a looser weave so just to decorate with okay so I think that is all from Hobby Lobby and if you're interested I'll show you some clothes that I got from Target and I did get a pair of jeans which I rarely wear jeans I usually just wear skirts and dresses but with fall coming up I thought you know it's gonna be I'm gonna need leggings or something so um, so this is the Wild Fable. I love this brand at Target. It's kind of, I think it's meant for a, a, a younger generation, but I didn't get the skinny jeans because I'm not too, I don't like skinny jeans on me necessarily. They look great on other people, but I have a couple pair, but I'm not too, too, too big of a fan. So, but these are high-waisted. I do like the high-waisted ones, but these are 
just a, like a traditional boot cut type of thing. So, so there's those. And then I saw a couple little shirts that were really cute that might look good with these jeans. And again, a lot of this was on clearance. I try to shop clearance as much as possible. But, um, but yeah, there's this little shirt here. It's got, I love the little bishop sleeves on, on these shirts where you have the puffs and I don't know, it's kind of feminine, which is, I always like that. And then looks like, looks like a trend here with the sage color theme here. <laughs> Must be uh, attracted to that color right now. But okay, so just another little shirt here. Kind of just kind of dainty. I love the peasant look here but again this is all it's all on clearance and I went earlier in the morning too so where there's hardly anybody there but you could probably get shopping online too yeah, because you can't you can't try on clothes and you got you guys probably already know you can't try clothes on at Target because of everything that's going on for raise protection and everything but then there's just this this might be a little too risky for me maybe <laughs> like, I may have to wear a high-waisted skirt for this because I won't be able to wear like low-rise jeans with this or whatever to it, it just not, would not look right on me okay. oh and I did get this candle in the hearth and hand section and it is a, car a cardamom and vetiver I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing right I don't know what, what I'm assuming it's an herb of some kind vetiver let me know if you know what that is I mean I guess you can google google it and find out but it smells really it smells really good but again, kind of going with that burnt, those burnt um, autumn type of colors. I'm kind of really liking that this year. And then I did end up buying a couple of little things to sleep in at night. Just stuff that's really comfortable and I haven't bought in so long. And lately I've been looking at my clothes and they're like, okay, I've got holes in my clothes. And so anyways, but these look really, just really comfortable and... I bought a couple of these little sets just to wear it at night. And then I saw this little dress and I thought it was so cute. It's that wild fable again. So kind of some more of a summery dress, but it's okay. And I may get a belt or some kind of little uh, wrap of some kind to tie around the waist. And so, Cute. Okay, and I did get some more workout clothes because I've been really needing those. I try to work out in the afternoon whenever I can, at least three days a week. I try to do four, but I do a mixture of cardio and weights, and I use Fitness Blender. It's a, uh, a husband and wife that have their own uh, business online, and they're free. Uh, the videos are free. Workout videos are free, and it's it's great. I I love using using Fitness Blender, and of course. You know, exercise outside is, is always the best too, but if I can't do that then. But I did get some some workout pants and some shirts, a couple shirts, not too much, not too much stuff, but I usually don't wear this kind of stuff, but I've been working out in like my dresses and stuff lately because I've been so tired in the in the afternoon to de just to change. There's a lot of changing into all of this kind of stuff is like, but it's probably good for me to do put something that's a little bit more flexible to work out in. But I did see these that I haven't seen at all, but they're a they're a strapless, uh, almost like a workout strapless bra. So, so we'll see how those work. There's a pink one and there's a black one and they have other colors too, but I thought, you know, or if you wear, wanna wear them under a strapless dress or something. So I'm kind of looking forward to wearing those. And then just a few more other things. Um, I do have a one of these type of sports bras to work out in. And also too, I work out not to just maintain my weight or just stay, try to get thin or whatever. I do it to, to stay healthy. It's just really important to stay healthy in that way and it's great for the mind. It naturally relieves stress and it's just good for your, good for your heart overall. So, um, okay, so a little, some shorts, workout shorts. And I think, I think that is it. Oh yeah, I got some, uh, some panties and stuff, but I don't have to show you that. <laughs> so I think that is it. But I'm glad you guys are, I'm hoping you guys are doing well. And lots of fun videos coming out. Like I said, uh, fall decorating videos and some, like a day in the life 
summer morning type or late summer morning type of routine. There's a lot of uh, gardening in there and, and, and stuff. So, and then check out the homeschool channel, the new channel. I'll leave all that down below. And I'll leave some more videos up here um, if you're interested in watching. But otherwise, I hope you are doing well. Thank you so much for stopping by. If, you know, if you're new, then we're so glad you're here. And have a good day or good night and take care. Bye.